guys welcome back to my channel so today I am back with a hair care video I know you guys have been hounding me and asking me Karina what do you use on your curls share the secret so I have a bunch of products in front of me that I'm gonna be showing you guys that I absolutely love and they just they just work for me now this isn't my curly hair routine video or my wash and go video just yet it's coming trust me guys it just <laughs> But I am going to show you uh, the products that I absolutely love and I think that they just work amazing. I will tell you on which curl pattern I think it's suited best for because not all of them work the exact same way, but they are great. Okay, so if you guys want more hair related videos, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and share and comment. Come on, tell me you want to see it and I will definitely make more of these videos. So if you are new... Go ahead and subscribe. We make beauty related content, hair care videos, perfume videos, lifestyle, you name it. It's all coming. So hit the subscribe button, like this video and leave your comment down below so I know you watched it and let's get into it. So my hair has a few different textures going on right now. Okay, I'm going to be honest. We got a lot of frizz going on in the back um, and I did lose a lot of my hair. Like there's not as much volume right here on the crown of my head than there is right up here in the front um I don't know am I a B a C a D I honestly have no idea but this is basically my texture right over here growing up I thought my curls were absolutely horrible until I finally learned how to manage them and also the correct products that you know gave them a little bit more definition now I'm not super anal when it comes to frizz I do like my hair a little defined but if I see a little frizz here and there it's okay you know it doesn't hurt and it gives a little bit of character a little bit of body a little bit of texture to my hairstyle so I'm okay with it now if you asked me two years ago I would say I absolutely hate frizz and I wanted every single product to super define my curls and make them look super tight and wet but now I'm like I want my curls to breathe so let's start off with um shampoo and conditioner I use a lot of conditioner uh you girls that have curly hair naturally curly hair you know that conditioner is our best friend and um I have two conditioners to show you guys now I will have a deep conditioning video uh, coming out where I show you guys the best deep conditioners that I've ever used. These are just regular conditioners and styling products, okay? So this is from Shea Moisture. It's one of their newer lines. I actually worked with them on Instagram and it was amazing. This is the Moringa and Avocado Power Greens Conditioner with Kale, Matcha, and Green uh, algia, algae, and I love this conditioner. I find that the texture is nice and thick and rich and just lavishes my entire head of hair. I don't need to use too much of it. It smells incredible and it's super easy to detangle my hair once I put this product in. Um, really like it and even after rinsing off my hair it just feels super bouncy and healthy from the entire Shea Moisture line I want to say this one is definitely my favorite I have used pretty much all of them they have quite different lines this one I really really like next one that I have is from way I actually have their shampoo and conditioner I was actually surprised how much I enjoyed the products because a lot of the times when it comes to high-end hair care products they're just not designed for my type of curls but this line actually surprised me because they have such amazing products that actually work on my hair this is the conditioning um the conditioner and the shampoo for curly hair and both of these products work amazing the shampoo is nice and rich it doesn't strip the natural oils off my hair and it doesn't leave my hair feeling squeaky clean you know that that tight crisp feeling that sometimes uh shampoos will leave your hair feeling like this doesn't do it but it lathers really well and removes all of the excess gunk and product off of my hair and the conditioner is really nice the only only thing with the conditioner is um the consistency is not as 
thick as like shea moisture so i have to use a lot more product which means i run out of this way way faster my hair is huge like i have a lot of hair my hair is full like you know what i mean but i still really really like the product and the way it makes my hair feel and smell so I, I do like it. I really do like it. Um, so I try to kind of alternate between Shea Moisture and Whey and not use the same product consistently so they last a lot longer for me. And in terms of shampoo, I don't use a lot of shampoo on my hair. I don't focus my attention on shampoos. So conditioners are like the main focus for me when it comes to washing my hair and of course deep conditioning, which will be in a different video. Now we have our styling products. This is my number one gel. Like number one, I'll always repurchase it. This is probably my sixth bottle of this. It got introduced to me through the brand. They actually sent me one of these bottles along with other products. And I was like, this, this ain't gonna work on my hair. But wow, wow. This is a gel that it hydrates your hair, but it also defines your hair. It gives it shine and it just gives you this like almost wet look, but not like crispy dripping wet look. It It's just, it's perfect. It doesn't leave your hair super tight and crispy. It doesn't leave residue on your hair. It um, combines with other styling products really well. And it's just amazing. Like if I want to refresh in my hair, I just spray a little bit of water in my hair grab some of this and put it on my hair and I'm done like it's it's perfect it's perfect it is a pricier product for the amount you're getting what do you get in this 200 mil or 6.75 fluid ounces um, sounds like a lot but it's not a lot on my head of hair uh, but I still love love this product and will always always repurchase it because it's just it's such a good gel it's a gel with oil um that's why it gives you like that kind of hydrated look on your hair and doesn't leave residue mm, so so good and this one i want to say works on a lot of different hair textures even if you don't have curly hair and you just want some sort of finishing product this is a great product because i actually used to work at a um, a spa slash salon and our main hairstylist used to use this on all different hair types just to finish off the look even if she was doing a blowout she would finish it off with this so it's just a gorgeous gorgeous product uh, the next gel that I have is this one here this is actually for men it's from Axe and it's their um, spiking glue gel when I want to do a sleek ponytail sleek 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 like i want everything back you know this is the gel to go to it will grab every single little hair and just slick everything down and make it look so smooth and seamless and it will hold that style all day like your hair isn't going anywhere it's maximum hold but it doesn't leave my hair feeling super hard it's actually still pretty soft when i uh, use it and again i mainly use this when i want to do a slick down hairstyle or when i want to kind of push my edges back like you know how i have it like up here it's kind of pushed back i will use this one i just it's the best gel like for me it's the best gel for a sleek hairstyle like i want sleek ponytail this is the gel that I am going for. Uh, I have this one here. This is the Auntie Jackie's Flaxseed Don't Shrink um, Curling Gel. And this is the second tube that I have of this product. Now this product here, you wanna be careful uh, in terms of what other products you're mixing with it. So do a little test test on your test on your hand grab some of this product mix it with your conditioner like your leave-in conditioner or your oil and see if it's going to create that white foamy residue if it does don't put it on your hair otherwise it's going to be a disaster and you're going to have to wash your hair and start over if it doesn't then you're good to go so this doesn't mix with every single uh, leave-in conditioner and oil so you really want to be careful with that but if it does it's a beautiful product to give you more of that um, super defined wet look it is gorgeous gorgeous for that um, and again this is one of those gels that doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy and hard and that's one thing that I look for in a gel I don't want that crispy crunch look to my hair or the feel or even the little white residues I 
hate that this gel doesn't do it it really helps define your hair it is a more natural gel because it's flaxseed um, it doesn't shrink your hair it's actually accurate it actually helps keep the length of your hair uh, which honestly the length it doesn't really bother me I like my hair kind of like above my shoulder type of length even though I'm kind of growing out but um, yeah it's a really really good product if you want that very defined very lustrous wet kind of look to your curls I have two leave-in conditioners that I am obsessed with one of them I've been using for about a year and a half now and it is amazing like amazing and then the other one is fairly new to me I've only had it for two weeks but I'm already obsessed with it and already need to make a second order because they don't sell it here in Canada you have to buy it online the first one is from Cantu this is the leave-in conditioning repair cream <laughs> when I discovered this life-changing my curls just have definition and hydration and I don't have to do too much to it throughout the, the week like my my curls hold up really well and I just have to um, maybe like on my third fourth day if I want to refreshen it dampen my hair add a little bit of this and I'm good to go it's so good it li literally feels like you're putting in a thick thick conditioner in your hair you know when you're in the bathtub and you put a conditioner on and your hair just looks so defined and healthy and like it just it's it's so good but this one you leave it in your hair now I will warn you when you first put it in your hair it is gonna have that conditioner look where it's kind of white and creamy just leave it just leave it so this is when I'm getting ready this is the first thing that I put on my hair and while I'm doing my makeup while I'm having something to eat or whatever it kind of subsides um, on your hair and that white uh, creamy look goes away and it just defines your hair so well it's amazing if I only have this product and some oil I'm good I don't need any other product that's how good it is and I've bought so many of these tops absolutely love this one this is called melanin hair care and this is the ultra use softening leave-in conditioner amazing what I love about this one is that it doesn't shrink my cur curls as much as the Cantu. The Cantu definitely shrinks my curls. This one doesn't shrink my curls, but it gives them enough definition um, and it controls the frizz a little bit, but it still has a little bit of frizz here and there. It's just it's fluffy, it's lightweight, and your hair has so much movement. And it's so good it smells amazing first of all and I forgot to mention this line it was created by a youtuber she is a super popular natural hair um, care youtuber I will link her channel down below if you haven't seen her I think she did an amazing job with the branding the actual formula is incredible it smells amazing the texture is nice and soft now the biggest difference between these two let me tell you guys so you know this has a thicker true conditioning texture very very thick so if you have uh, thinner hair than mine not as thick and as frizzy you have maybe thinner or finer or softer texture than mine I would probably go with the melanin uh, if you have thicker texture or my kind of hair type I would go with the Cantu I love them both I use them both separately and actually last night was my um, I washed my hair and I mixed these two together and this is kind of the effect that I got I got my definition there's a little bit of frizz but I don't mind but my hair is like super bouncy and fluffy nothing is weighing it and heavy and it's not heavy on my curls so I just they're so good Okay, so last but not least, I have my two oils that I've been using, and I absolutely love them. Now, I do have just natural avocado oil that I buy from the grocery store that my hair absolutely loves. So when I don't have these oils, I just use that one. I use it for hot oil treatments. It's super inexpensive, and you can get it at any local grocery store. Avocado oil, trust me. 
your hair will thank you so the two oils that i have this one is from keratis this is the oleo relax advanced oil this one over here i don't even know how to say the name but i've been loving it like i've used quite a bit of that oil as you guys can see it has a really nice rich consistency but it's not thick and heavy um it just helps me seal in all my products so the steps that i take when i do my hair is like i wash it obviously i do a leave-in condition i do um like a treatment of some sort and then once i rinse that off i like to put in a leave-in conditioner and an oil to seal it in sometimes i will mix my leave-in conditioner with some uh styling gel if i'm trying to get a specific look but i always finish it off with an oil because it really helps seal everything in and this oil has been really really nice it doesn't weigh down my hair it doesn't make it look greasy and too like shiny overly shiny so I've been loving this one and then a newest one to me is the melanin one I actually picked up all of her products when I made my order uh, this was the oil this is the multi-use oil blend and this smells so good guys smell good mmm it's a little bit heavier than the Keratis but I don't mind it um, it's a nice oil that I like to mix in with my styling products or even just to seal in the hair and when I look at the ingredients it's actually really really good it has um no silicones no mineral oils no sulfates no parabens so great products and it's been working for me so yeah i i really like it so guys that is it for this video these are my go-to hair care products now i will be honest and i say and say that i try out a ton of hair care products just like i try a ton of perfumes and makeup it comes with the job i get sent a lot of products but I always, always return to the specific products that I talked about. Not so much the melanin. These are new products to me, this entire line. But I already know that these two are going to be on repeat for sure. Like I'm already making an order of this tonight because I don't want to run out of it. Um, but every other product that I mentioned, I've used them a ton of time. I've repurchased them and they are just so good and work really well on my hair. If you have my kind of texture, a little bit of a looser, a little bit of a thicker texture, I'm sure these products will work out for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new and cool today. Definitely comment down below and let me know what are your favorite curly hair products i'm always on the hunt for the best 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 um product out there that's really gonna nourish and hydrate my hair give it some love i love taking care of my hair and my skin i love 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 that so definitely let me know i will try and get that um uh, wash and go routine for you guys very soon i also want to show you guys how i do my at home hot oil treatments and the difference that i've seen um i'm also taking biotin it really helps with your hair um and also another um vitamin that i'm taking is uh collagen from neo cell i work with them on instagram and i've been noticing a difference on my nails and hair so just little things here and there that you can help your hair really uh flourish so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave your comments down below and i'll see you guys on the next one ciao